Hello and welcome to a special crossword edition of Cracking and Cryptic. Now, we haven't been doing much crossword content for a while. There is Simon's Daily Clue of the Day on Instagram many days and um, every month I do battle with the Times um, Monthly Club Special, which is an absolute beast of a standard cryptic. But every week I do attempt the listener crossword and I thought we'd try it together today. So. Today is Friday, October the 23rd. Now, um, you won't be able to see this video until three weeks after that because that is the length of time um, that the listener takes to publish its solution. Very deliberately, there's a at least a 12-day entry period, I think, So, um, and then a little bit of time after that. So they like you not to show the solution until they publish it three weeks later. So that'll be when this video comes out. And but I'm going to have a go at this puzzle. It's the first time I'm going to get to see it here. So we have tip top condition by twin, and let's click on the puzzle. Right, and let's um, increase the size a little bit there. Okay, so tip top condition by twin. We have an interesting grid. There's clearly a couple of long rows with no numbers in. They're I'm sure going to be mentioned in the preamble. Quite a short preamble this time. In just over half the down clues, the word play leads to the answer with a wrong letter which must initially be entered in the grid. This leads to a hint that solvers must use to resolve the first unclued entry as described by the second one. Well that, yeah, it did just finally get around to those two long unclued entries there. Um, so there's not much I can do except create this grid in my software so I can have it on the screen at the same time as I look at the clues um, and start on at the clues, being aware that in most of the down clues the word play leads to the defined answer presumably with a wrong letter which must be entered in the grid. So that's quite an unusual variant there. So I'll be back with a grid in a second or two. Okay, so here we are with the grid, and let's have a look at these clues. One across. Trump say keeps being billed. That's quite amusing. Um, as I solve this, this is two weeks before the election. Presumably as you watch it, it's a week after it. So uh, who knows what that's going to imply now. Trump say keeps being billed. Now these, um, these across clues are normal, aren't they? Trump. I'm thinking Prez or something, President, uh, POTUS. Ends could be being? No, I don't really know what to do there. Let's have a look at eight across. Drink shots knocked back without the introduction of amaretto. Well, the introduction of amaretto is the letter A. So we want a word for shots backwards and minus the A in it to mean a drink, but drink is so nonspecific. Okay, I'll try one more across. 12 across. Flat shape of monitor redesigned. Well, it looks like an anagram of monitor to give a flat shape. Um, I can't see that one. Let's try the downs then, aware that they may give wrong letters. One down. Evidence of horse. Horsefly almost found by computer hack. Bot. It's got something to do with computers. It's a word for a horsefly. Don't know. Kid actually is also, I think. Um, no, that's very difficult. Two down. Stays base jumping, affecting affliction it may result in. Accepting, rather, affliction it may result in. Stays. So it's pro stays looks like the definition. Anagram of base. And then you put in some sort of affliction it may result in. Base jumping. Abates. A T? Is that. To stay something, I think, might be to abate it, to kind of stop it happening. I suppose the affliction could be misprinted. Oh, don't know. I think two down could be a Bates. 
Three down. Name what river rises near heart of Switzerland. Well, the middle letter of Switzerland is an E. Name what river rises near heart of Switzerland. Sorry. Um, ooh, Rhine or something. Yes. Yes. I think the Rhine probably rises in, Swi in the Alps in Switzerland. Now, it could be the Rhone. In fact, either way, it's not being spelt right here because what we've got is name is N, what is A, E H, as in what? A? And then river is R. And if that all rises near E, you get a you get that spelt out. And to name what river rises near Hard Switzerland gives you Rhine or possibly Rhone. So I think that's the answer. It doesn't make a Bates look good because of the A that we would get in this long unclued entry. What's 16 across? Cannon's first base in Church of England. Ooh, that just looks like CE. That's really weird. Cannon's first is the letter C. Base, I think the, the logarithm base in maths is E. And Church of England can be abbreviated to CE. So that's very strange. It really looks like a genuine clue to the two letter non word entry CE. So I uh, don't really know what's going on there. Four down. Clothing heads to Swiss Hotel. Customers ready to ski. Um, well, the heads of Swiss and Hotel are SH. Customers ready to ski. Very tricky. Okay, 15, beginning with an N, maybe. Historical idiom from either end of nation. Um, N or N, I suppose, are the two ends of nation. Norn is it's a fate or a Norse god or something. Is that a historical idiom? Wow, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel great. If we had an O as the third of 11 down, one favoring radical upheaval, suppressing pole caused radical upheaval. Rioter? No. Um, how about, f oh, we've looked at four down. Let's try five down. Extremely selfish bit of dialogue after one leaves cast light. Extremely selfish looks like the letters S and H. Um, a bit of dialogue is a line, yes. If one leaves it, you get S-H-L-N-E and shine is to cast light or shone. Ooh, just as that could be Rhine or Rhone, this could be shine or shone. That's quite weird. What the impression I am getting is that all the letters that change are going to be in these long across entries and we're meant to write the wrong ones in first. Um... I really don't think we're going to get I or O possibilities for every single down entry in there. But anyway, six across, lost to view, abruptly turning to rain. Abruptly can mean cut short at the end. I think that's a dictionary definition of it. Um, and turning can obviously mean going round the other way. Uh, lost to view. Vanished, hidden, terrain. No, let's go back to the across now. Trump say keeps being billed. Donald Trump, I suppose the cards definition rough or something. Ends in the middle. X, no, expensed, I was thinking for build. Well, that Norn at least looks possible now. I'm going to fill it in because I, it seems to fit the wordplay. I don't really understand 
historical idiom. 17 across. Early English chapters in supplement to play. Well, I know from studying the dictionary that that, E-E-C-H, is one of the weird spellings of eek, E-K-E, which can mean to supplement. Now, seven down. Ran rings around cops, finally outwitted. Ran rings. Not seeing that. 13 down. Now that begins and ends in um, in these long answers. Irvin's odd retired couple approaching. Oh, it says it's eight letters. Have I copied the grid wrong? I probably have. That's irritating. Let's have a look at the grid. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, no, it is eight letters. Okay, that's all right. Sorry, for some reason I thought I had... Nine here, but no, that is only eight. Irvin's odd retired couple approaching. Let's just pop down to get all the clues in. I don't know how to go about that. And that's used up all the answers where I've got a letter in the grid again. Bother. So, a bit of cold solving. Let's have a look at eight down. Traditionally beat bounds with lowest character leading. Bounds, leaps with S, which would be its lowest letter. Sleep with the middle letter change to be traditionally beat. Can't really see that. Nine down. Nice to lose independence. Time to unite closely. Well, if you take out the I from nice, you get N-C-E, and then T is N-C-E-T. But to unite closely, knit, I would have thought. Nice, kind, to lose independence, K-N-D, and then T for time, and it's that third letter that has changed from an I to a D. Okay. 10, 10 down. Work about to be cut from opera supported by liberal. Aida. About can sometimes be A. Work laid. Supported by liberal. So liberal would be at the end. Oh, so I-D-A-L, how's that work? An idyll? That's not very specific for work. I think it could be, though. I-D-A-L is just possible there for idyll. It's with a one-letter misprinted. Right, eight across. Drink shots knocked back without the introduction of amaretto. And I've got a K in it now. Shot, sect, takes. Can takes be shots? I think sect is a drink. German wine or something, dry, probably. I think that's probably right, but I'm not 100% sure. And this flat shape. Anagram of monitor. I mean, it's very possible still. It just doesn't give a word I know. I don't think. I've looked at that. Eight down now with an S. Mm. Well, it might not be leaps, but something else meaning bounds. Smite. Meat. Is, what's a bound? M something T-E. might with a letter changed. Again, it's an I. I think it's an I in all of these places. Ryan, Shine, Smite, and Knit. So uh, that doesn't make idyll work, nor does that T. Right, okay, so that wasn't right. Work about to be cut. To till is to work. Um, But we want an I there in the word meaning work. Toil. Yes, okay. Toil. 
about can be CA for circa. So if you cut that out of Tosca, you get Tos and then L, and that is toil with the I changed. Now, this flat shape, oh, a triomino. Can that just be called a tromino, like a domino? I suppose it probably can. I should really know that. Dealing with those all the time on the channel. Um, let's go back to six down then. Lost to view, abruptly turning to rain. To drip? Yes, perdu. It must be the French for lost. So that must be able to mean lost to view. And then that's abruptly, so it's cut off and turning and to rain is to drip, probably. Don't know what the letter in that smite word is. Now, given that it was only just over half the down clues that had a letter change, they'd really all do seem to be at the top of the grid. So maybe this unclued entry is entered normally. I should probably have started in the bottom half then. Okay, let's just carry on quickly with seven down. Ran rings around cops finally outwitted. Um, so that should really be an I probably here. And that gives a very odd word. Maybe 17 across is E-C-H-E. Maybe I've got the spelling wrong. Early English, E-E, -E, the chapter C-H is in. Yes, that's better. Okay, so this is ran rings around or outwitted is toiled or no voiced or noised or cops ran rings. Ah, I can't see what that is. How about 14 down? The definite defined answer should begin with an I. None too regularly dispatched like set correspondence into which would be N N T O is the phrase none to taken the letters regularly. I think that's going to be right. So N N T O for into. Not absolutely convinced about the definition, but it might be something from maths that I don't really get. Um, yeah, we're definitely getting some phrase here across the top. So it's a vowel going for NDS in this eight down, of course, because the bounds, I'm thinking they're mites, but that would give the proper word smite. Don't know. I suppose that might be an answer without changing the letter. Um, 18 across, chai set brewing without with this heater could produce anesthetic. So an anagram of anesthetic will be Chai Set and Etna, which is a laboratory tiny crucible or something for chemists, according to Chambers. Now, 19 down, not taking sides, beginning with an A. Change play cast for 3D picture. Not taking sides. Oh, so maybe the change without its side letters or change play without its side letters. So an anagram of either hang play or hang hange pla. Anaglyph? Yeah, because an anaglyph is something, some sort of raised character. I think that Y has changed to an E, which is weird because I thought all the changes were going to happen in this entry and maybe there are some in this one too. 32 across, cook and old maid scrubbing piano. Old word from maid that had a P in it, four letters, and you take the P out. I'm thinking anaglyph could easily be wrong now, it's a bit of a shot in the dark. Um, let's go down over here. 33 down. Rub back softly to get this. <laughs> 
Rub back is B U R. Softly from music is P. And if you rub a baby's back softly, you might get a burp. That's quite funny. Um, 34 down. Indico and brown paper without margins. Yes, anil is the source of the dye indigo, so probably one can be the other. Manila without its margins, M and A. 38. Shoot worn out horse. I think that's plug. And I think that's a double definition, probably. 37. Songs about religion, excluding Sabbath and holy ceremonies. So rituals? Where's the religion in that? Mm, maybe I'm just guessing too much at the, art, at the definition. Nearly everything set on wood of kings. That is our mug, which is something from the Bible. And these letters haven't changed down here, which is interesting. Unimaginable wouldn't quite fit along there. Rituals looks good now again. Songs about religion. Excluding Sabbath. Spirituals. And holy, excluding S and pi. Yes, spiritual. Uh, spirituals becoming rituals. 35 down. Yuri's translation from Japanese artfully avoids strangeness. Yuri. What's he doing in there? Yuri's translation from Japanese artfully. Wow, don't know what that is. Oh, okay, hang on. Yes, maybe I do. Um, slyly avoiding strangeness would give you Lily, L-Y-L-Y, or L-I-L-Y, Lily. Why would that be Yuri's translation from Japanese? Don't really know, but I do trust that Y in the f bottom entry. Two thirds of a mile, approximately hard, like those in the country. A li, L I is Chinese. Two thirds of a mile. Um, L I S and then H at the end of this. But now I don't trust the Y at the beginning. Let's forget that. Like those in the country, ruralish or no, churlish, churlies. No, don't know. Let's try 28 cross ending an A. Appeal, seeing tail ender leaving crease. No, don't know. Appeal can be SA for sex appeal, or SOS could be an appeal. Hmm, 25 down. Braggot, twice chopped, tossed salad. So, twice chopped off the end. So you've got B-R-A-G-G-A, -G -G -A, tossing in that to get an anagram. Salad with bagar or gar bag. Don't know that one either. Darn. 30 across. Spotted Indian natives combination of powers. This is one power and P is another. Visp or there are other powers unfortunately. Let's have a look at 21 across, not trusting the N at the end particularly. Lord enters square dance for its third place pin. <laughs> Nothing in that looks like a definition. S Crikey, no, don't know. 27 down, might end in S. In Europe, large numbers suffering in unending chaos. Suffering could be ill, maybe? 
Oh, bills or mills or trills? Large numbers. Chaos, mess. Meals, M-I-L-L-E-S. Ill in most of mess. Certainly possible. Fits quite well with the acrosses, if they're at all trustable. Meal. I mean, it's a thousand in French, so that could well be right. 26. Cartload of old horn rack. No flipping, thank you. Um, oh, well, thank you ought to be tar. Cartload. Can't see that. 32 across. Cook and old maid. Oh, prig. Scrubbing pea gives rig. That's possible. Which makes anaglyph. And that H. It does look right now. I quite like it now. <laughs> I can easily change. 32 down. Dish of potatoes and bread. Including hint of sugar. Rusty. Um, R-O with some sort of accent, S-T-I. Bread, roti, is an Indian bread. Okay. Oh, wow. So we get S-L-E at the end of this. Isle, presumably. 22. Mosquitoes carry this. East, after number conveyed by S South American rodent. Ca Cava? Paca, that's a South American rodent. Mara, that's another one. I know two of them. Um, if, that's not easy. Number might be N, but just don't know what's going on there. 36 cross mark length of zip. Zip can mean nothing, so zero, but mark length for the beginning of it. Don't know that. 31 down. Ashamed. Moved pound into Bank of Scotland. Bray? The bank in Scotland with pound in would be braille, but I don't get how that's ashamed, moved Let's go back to one across. I never tried it with this D on the end. I'm not sure it's going to help. Trump say keeps being billed. Trump. Card. Keeps essay. E double S E, which is the Latin for being. Caressed. Build and cooed, I suppose. I think that is right. Um, wow, two down. Stays. Oh, I like Bates now. Let's put a Bates in. No idea if it's right. Oh, no, it's not. No, because we, we think it's all eyes across here, don't we? Abides is stays. So base jumping might result in something D. Um, I don't know what that is. Right, one down. Evidence of horse, this thing. Horse fly almost found by computer hack. Computer could be com, I suppose. But the evidence of horse should have an I here. Clip clop? It's PC lop. I don't know what the horse fly is, but yeah, PC for computer, lop for to hack. And the horse fly must be CL something something. I don't know that disease, that's annoying. I can't get the beginning of this. That's probably a vowel. That's probably not. Otherwise, you wouldn't need to clue something as dreadfully as <laughs> affliction it may result in. 
Hmm, still don't know where we're going with that. 20 across. Courts once overturned. Contribution to this EU shortfall. I think this is SUS. It's a backwards hidden in this EU shortfall. And an old meaning of sue is to court. Uh, as in woo. Right, 23 across. Is old criminal smuggling alcohol in crude container? That is oil drums because it's an anagram of is old with rum in it. Containers, I should have said. 28 across. Appeal. Seeing tail ender leaving crease. Well, that's pleat is the crease. Without its tail ender, it becomes plea, which is an appeal. 24 down, beginning LE. Sophia's ready to take part in pole vault. Yeah, another hidden. Lever, oh, the, must be the plural of lev, the currency in Bulgaria, of which Sophia is the capital, of course. Now, 11 down. One favouring radical upheaval. Suppressing pole caused radical upheaval, rioted. Um, one favouring radical upheaval. Suppressing pole. So yes, that I is changing. Red. Suppressing knot. N-O-T, which is something to do with cutting horns like polling is as well. Right, four down. Clothing heads to Swiss Hotel. Oh, it's all of these heads. So it's the heads of Swiss Hotel Customers Ready to Ski. S-H-C-R-T-S, -S, which is a misprint for shirts. So this is going to say something clues ends. Maybe that should be a W, down clues ends. Right, how would that work? Three down? No, that wouldn't work. Even, yes, one down, CLE something, VD must be that affliction that base jumping might result in. Even clues ends. Now, let's have a look at these even clues in the printed order, and they end in O, D, D, odd, interesting, C, L, U, E, odd clues, O, I think I'll be finishing this and coming back, odd clues, O, P, N, I, N, G, odd clues, opening, L, E, T, I think we know where we're going with this, T, E, R S. So the even clues ends spell odd clues opening letters. So let's look at those. I think we could be on a constant hunt here. T H um, 17 E. The L I S um, T. I think we're going to listener here. E N E R, the listener. N O I N, the listener. No in. S P A R Y, in Sparry. Have I missed something else? The listener N O, number. In oh, B, sorry, not SP at all. In B, ah, in binary, the listener number in binary. So today's listener, which I've not considered at all, is number 4630. Okay, what is that in binary? Um, 4630 in binary. Um, how am I going to work that out? Let's go with powers of two to start with. Four, six, three, zero. So three, four, 
3072 gets us. Is that really? That's not a power of two. I've gone mad. Sorry, 32 times 16 times four. That's better, 2048, that feels more loud. 4096 gets us a one. And we're left with 534, so nothing for 2048, nothing for 1024. Then we get a 1 for, um, so 4096 divided by 8. 8 is 512. We get 1 for that. Now we're already up to 4608. We've only got 22 more to go. Two five six one two eight <coughs> sixty four thirty two sixteen. So we get one for sixteen, nothing for eight, four two one. <coughs> it's not very promising except in terms of the length. One double O, one double O, double O one, O one one O. That is very much not the number that I've been putting into the long cross row. So that's really weird. Um, so this leads to a hint that solvers must use to resolve the first unclued entry. As described by the second one. Okay, we haven't figured this one out at all. Ah, okay, so we'll come back to that then. Right, 13 down. Irvin's odd retired couple approaching. Uncommon? Why would that be Irvin's odd? Retired couple. Hmm, feels like it ought to be uncommon, but I can't see exactly how that works. Now, this runs rings around cops finally. Ran rings. Outwitted. It's going to end in D, and that's not going to help me when I get that D. Oh well, 35, 25 down. Braggart twice chopped, tossed salad. Oh, rag bag. Yeah, that works as an anagram. I think that's going to be right. Unamb. Ambiguously, so we do put a Y in. Why did I not have the Y in 19 down? Oh, hang play anagrammed. Yes, okay, that's fine. So this is going to say unambiguously. <coughs> um, I don't really understand the ending, but let's try and finish off the grid. 36 uh, mark length of zip. <coughs> Oh, uncoming now. Yes, approaching is coming. Retired couple. Irvin's odd retired couple. Oh, Unco is odd in Scotland, and Irvin must be in Scotland. Okay. Oh, Ming is an old word for to couple. And, oh, I was going to say uncoming must mean approaching, but actually upcoming means approaching. Why would Irvin's odd be upco? I much prefer Unco. I'm going to stick with that for now. I might need to look it up at the end. 30 across spotted Indian natives combination of powers. Not sure what's going on there. 21 across, probably got a D and fourth. Lord enters square dance for its third place pin. Lord can be D or LD. Um, hold down could be pin. Ho down with LD in instead of the third letter of ho down. That's lovely. Hold down. Okay. So I'm really going to have to figure out seven down. Ran rings around cops finally, which is S. Ow. 
quitted. O oh, fool! For that would make ran rings around F O L E D. Ah, no, ran, fled, rings goes about, O for round and the S. Okay, so that is an O there. So there are some O. Oh, I see, clip top, that could be abodes as much as abides. That can be roan or rhine. Oh my god, this could actually be clop clop. That can be rooted or rioted. Caused radical upheaval, that's brilliant. Because to riot might be to cause radical upheaval in a metaphorical way, but radical means of the root. Shirts or shorts, shine or shone, because cast can be either tense. It really does work, oncoming or incoming. Oh my goodness, drip or drop, foiled or fooled, smite or smote. This is absolutely brilliant. Into or onto, like set correspondence, knit or not. I mean, I suspected this from the first two letters and discarded it as absolutely impossible that this could have been achieved. And it has been. Knit or not, toil or tool can both mean to work. That is magnificent. So every one of these letters, ambiguously, could have been I or O in the original version. So I am going to need this binary conversion to fill it in. That's incredible. Let's see if we can finish off now. 22 down. Mosquitoes carry this. So it's dengue, is it? Dengue fever? After number... That would make Degu a South American rodent, which I do not know, but it could be, I suppose. 26. Cartload of old horn rack. No flipping. Thank you. Okay, so it doesn't have AT, which would be tar flipped. Um, C mat. So seam is probably a cartload. Uh, we're getting into chambers definitions, I don't know. 36, mark length of zip logo and log, could well be. 35 down, oh, I've lost the clue. You know, that's Yuri's translation from Japanese. So I still want this to kind of be lily. Um, but that might not be right. 30, spotted Indian natives. Combination of powers, Avis. Why is A a power? I mean, Ragbag could be wrong, but it seems unlikely. 31 down, ashamed, moved pound into Bank of Scotland. Oof, 26 down. Oh, I haven't even looked at this one. Pawn gets moved to pin rook in center. Stooge, anagram of gets with rook in center is the OO. So this, like those in the country, stealish. No, silly. Um, Yokelish, that does begin with a Y. Yoke is two, as in a yoke of oxen, good grief. And then thirds of a mile is lees. Uh, right, 35 down. I'm going with Lily, although I may need to look up what that's got to do with Yuri. Maybe Yuri is a Siberian or Japanese name that derives from Lily. That is possible. Now, 31 across, ashamed, moved pound. Oh, slunk. If you slink, you are moving in an ashamed fashion. So sunk must be a bank in Scotland. I'm reckoning Avis for this spotted Indian native. I don't quite know why. And that finishes the grid. I mean, I will check that at the end. And then, so let's just reread that preamble slightly. In just over half the down clues, the wordplay leads to the answer with the wrong letter, which must initially be entered in the grid, into the grid. This leads to a hint even clues ends, that solvers must be used to re resolve the first unclued entry unambiguously. And it's fully ambiguous until 
you read the even clues ends, you get that it tells you to look at the odd clues opening letters. That tells you to use the listener number in binary. And that tells you that this answer is going to be I O O I O O O O I O I I O if I've done my maths right. And that is the answer to this listener puzzle. So there we go. Um, I'm now going to look up some of those words to see if I've got the grid entries right. I think the one I'm most doubtful about is Avis. How is that spotted Indian native? Hmm, it doesn't look like it is. Um, axis, an axis deer. And of course an axis is a combination of powers. Yes, that's much better. So axis to a white spotted deer of India. Okay, I should have known that. Um, now, what else can we check here? Sect. I was fairly confident that was a wine, I think. Sparkling German wine. Tromino. I've never heard that word in that form. Yep, flat three-sided shape. Norn. Why was that an idiom? Any of the, Oh, there's a second. The Old Norse dialect of Orkney and Shetland. I'd forgotten that if I ever knew it. Um, edgy oil drums, seam as a cartload, and seamat was needed as well. Not seam one or two, seam, or seam three, a pack horse load. Amazing. Seamat. Horn rack, a common polyzoan. Not common in my world. Um, rig, logo, yokelish root, plug. That was an intriguing two-letter thing, two-meaning thing, rather. Um, one of them was a horse that was worn out, wasn't it, or something? Can't see that here. Oh, a worn-out horse. Yes, that's pretty unambiguous. Um, oh, clip-clop, one of these Flies, CLE something. What was that? I didn't recognize that word. Clem, no, clue, cleg, a gadfly or horsefly. There we go. VD, was it in two down as the base jumper's problem? Oh, that sort of VD. I suppose it's just an affliction, but I don't know why you'd get it from base jumping. Uh, I may have misunderstood something rude about that clue. That's quite normal. Rag bag as a salad was rather surprising. Maybe I don't know enough meanings of salad. A random or confused collection as a rag bag. And a salad, a diverse or confused mixture. Fair enough then. Oncoming slunk stooge, foiled smoke. Oh, dengue and daegu was... No, that doesn't seem to be right. Um, where was the South African rodent in this then? <clears throat> Dengue is an acute tropical epidemic fever. It doesn't mention it's carried by mosquitoes particularly. I still think that must be right. Um, but I don't know what the rodent is. Oh well, maybe I'll figure that out in due course, and I think the rest of it's fine. So there we go. That is the answer to Twin's rather excellent um, tip-top condition. And tip-top, of course, is a phrase in which you've got the I and the O replacing each other. I mean, as I say, I thought that was absolutely magnificent that every word, every letter in this entry could have been I or O, and the down clue made perfect sense and um, obviously the definition of it rather was clop clop and clip clop actually that's worth checking is there really clip clop I know I'm sure there it is but can and clop clop unbelievable that's a brilliant find anyway there we go very clever puzzle from twin really enjoyed that hope you got something out of watching the solve of it and uh, hope to see you again soon on cracking the cryptic bye for now